welcome to another exciting episode of Sebastian's Hits. On today's episode, we're finally opening up some new AEW stuff. We got AEW's flagship 2024 set here from Upper Deck. Just like always, one hit per box. So one autograph, memorabilia, or tech card. The odds on the back here are pretty low for everything. Looks like a pretty small set, all things considered. Um, looks like the canvases are a little bit easier to pull. One in three packs, um, but looks like they made uh, some of the inserts a little bit harder. So posters, technique by a a Taz, we are all global. Those go one in six, so we're looking at an average two per box. And then, of course, acetate, autograph, lenticular, memorabilia, all combine, 1 in 12. So one of those in every box, and then a wild card, 1 in 12. Not sure about the serial numbered insert cards combined to fall 1 in 36, because I've seen people pull a few numbered cards out of this. So weird uh, statistic there, but well, let's see what we can pull out of here, guys. You know, a couple individuals have some rookie cards in this set. Obviously, all the big names are all super popular and super collectible, like your Sky Blues and all of that. There we go. Pull that guy up there. Sweet. Alright, first pack out of the box here. Let's enjoy some new AEW product. It's been quite a long time for this. Oh, packs are super hard to rip on these guys. See the look of it, Will Ospreay. So we got some of his first stuff, Prince Nana, and actually declares it as managers. Interesting. Jeff Hardy, Daniel Garcia. We got the tag teams back. Darby and Sting. Stepping into the ring. Jay White. Our Dazzlers. Green. Oh, I like that. The whole upper deck thing. AEW in the corner. Those look really nice. Brody King. Satnam Singh. And that is our first, yep, gaming cards. So Satinum Singh gaming card. JF. Oh, announcers. Interesting. So they have them all separated out. Very interesting. Let's go ahead and put a sleeve on Brody here. I assume it just like last year they'll probably have the orange ones be uh Specific to the box itself, the uh, blaster boxes. All right, so very interesting set, I would say. Super hard to open packs, jeez. There you go, sky blue. Tag teams. Dustin. First gold, that's a Bryce. So gold parallels, just like last year. First canvas, and that is the guns. Other tag teams. Interesting, all right. Put the canvases up here. There we go. Yuda. Announcer. Interesting. He's... I mean, I guess, but like, yeah, I would definitely say manager, not announcer, but all right. Adam Copeland. Uh, 
that says trios. I mean, that's, that's death triangle. Interesting. Just a separate trios insert as well. First, Pyro. That's of Penta. Ooh, nice. Heroes and Heroines. These are the comic book inserts. That's pretty cool. Again, not sure if that's a case hit or kind of like the 16-bit uh, inserts were. I'm sure everyone either is freaking out or just being like, oh yeah, cool insert. We'll put Sting up there. Look at our Penta. Yep, first Pyro. So just a regular Pyro for Penta. And then Technique by Taz and its hook. <laughs> that's that's actually pretty funny. That's on brand, right? <laughs> and finishing out the pack, Perazzo, Julia, Paul Turner, and Ann Cole, Bay Bay. Pack down here is a little bit hidden there on the bottom. Maybe this is our sweet, awesome, lucky one that has a super low numbered auto in it. <laughs> Gold Claudio. Oh, there we go. Yeah. I'll totally take that. Gold, 2 out of 10, Brian Keith. Pretty sure that's uh, his rookie card as well, I believe. High gloss, so the out of 10 golds are high gloss. Nice, very, very cool. Dude, I will totally take a low numbered hit out of an upper deck box. Sweet. Upper deck high gloss. That's pretty cool. Another playing card. And that's of Christian Cage. Keith Lee. Mike. Britt Baker. And Hook. All right. Very cool. I would say pretty fun little set to open already, I would say. Especially if you're just an overall AEW fan. There's a lot of just fun, cool cards in here. Gold of Adam Page. We have a canvas of best friends. Yep, yeah, it doesn't look like it's a uh, case hit, but man, getting Sting and Darby, that's pretty cool. Penta. Tag Teams, the Outcasts. It's a really good looking Ruby card. And, at the end, and they're better than you, Bay Bay. Oh, nice. Tag teams. Ooh, the Hardy Boys. I'll take that. One twenty-three out of two forty-nine. Let's see if it says it on the back here. It does. Steel Cage Parallel. Don't know why it's Steel Cage other than maybe the silver slash metal. Definitely looks more purple to me. That could be just the background itself as well. And behind there, I believe we hit our big hit out of the box. And that is the La Faction Ingobernables. Double or nothing. You have received a train card with a manufactured wrestling pack. 
Witch. So that is our big card, big hit out of the box here. Let's get a sleeve on this guy if we can. Believe these fit. Yeah, all right. Don't even have any loaders for these guys because these are thick boys. Interesting. So that's uh, our big, big hit out of the box. The behind there, man, our heroes and heroines, MJF, we're hitting big on those, that's for sure. Athena and Darby Allen. They're an interesting box, and yeah, they make the packs super thick, so definitely can't weigh out which one might, you know, has what in it. Oh, Billy Starks is in this too, very cool. Trios, so separate tag team, separate trios. I'm just gonna put them all together. Just a hilarious Satinum Singh card. Next one is Tag Teams Pyro. Yeah, looks like the Heroes one is pretty reasonable to pull. And Juice Robinson, that's our Blue Dazzler. Tag Teams. Roosh, Mercedes. That looks like Mogul Embassy. So blues, more likely one green. These inserts are pretty cool. And then our pyro, the outcasts. Wardlow, Gold, Butcher and Blade. Oh, Canvas of Karshita, that's pretty cool. Total Access, Max Caster. Kira Hogan, Taya, Bryce, Hangman, and Claudio. Cassidy, Nyla Rose, Trios of the Acclaimed. Ooh, Trent Beretta, that's a cool looking one. Which one's this one? Outburst. That's pretty sweet looking. Not numbered. Pretty sweet. There's got to be a little bit rarer than Pyros to pull since they're not numbered. Those might be SPs. <clears throat> Behind there, Heroes, Willow, Green, Dazzlers, Darby Allen. House of Black. Yeah, I'm not sure if we're just getting lucky with these heroes inserts or if this is like the main one, but uh, yeah, getting a whole bunch of them. seen him in a while. Gold Thunder Rosa. And behind there, Brian Danielson. Let's go. Out of 149. Uh, 
has a dynamite parallel. It's a great looking card. And behind there, double or nothing insert or unsanctioned match. Another insert, like I said, small set, but stacked on the inserts, but that is just what Upper Deck does. Aw, Kenny. Excalibur, Big Bill. <clears throat> Two packs left. Definitely say I'll probably buy another box of this to enjoy. Kingdom, Bandito, Samoa Joe, Pyro of Ruby Soho, Canvas, Adam Cole, baby. Yeah, it looks like these are pretty easy to get then. Kanosuke, Tag Teams, the Hardys, and Surveya. Pyro. Very cool. All right, guys. Last pack here. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Always try to bring you the newest and coolest wrestling and openings as much as I can. Also, if you're interested in any of these cards, there'll be a link down below to my eBay store. Tons of cards on there. Wrestling figures. Rare VHS tapes. Tons of cool stuff on there. So check it out if you can. Alright, let's see what our last pack of AEW here brings us. Gold Eddie Kingston. Chris Statlander. The Blade. Trios. Ooh, Kill Switch. Actually have his name different on there. Brian, MJF, and Renee. So, yeah, very, very interesting first uh, opening here. Lots of one out of ones. Total Access one, the Double or Nothing one, Technique by Taz one. Like I said, the inserts are a lot harder to pull. So, interesting stuff. Uh, did get four canvases in the box. So, on average, three out of three packs, 12 packs, so that makes sense. And then lots of interesting stuff for our, like, inserts and all of that. Two greens, one blue, so I would assume the blue is uh, the one per box. Interesting stuff. This Trent bread is pretty cool. I'll definitely look up, see if it's a super you know, SP or SSP or anything like that. That outburst is pretty sweet looking. And then some other numbers. Brian. That Hardy Boys is pretty cool. Obviously our Brian Keith card here is our massive hit out of the box. That's pretty sweet. High gloss, out of 10, two out of 10. It's a pretty sweet card. And technically our hit out of the box. La Faccion Ingoblenables. I always like saying it just because of uh, Naito from New Japan Pro Wrestling. But that is our big patch tech card out of the box. So very interesting stuff. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And as always, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you. Yeah.